Hello and thank you for watching my video. My name is Astrid Krasnici. I'm CCNA and CCMP certified instructor. In this video, we are covering CCNA semester one, introduction to networks. This is chapter three, network protocols and communications. In this chapter is divided in three sections. Section 3.1, we talk about rules of communications. Then we move on to section 3.2, network protocols and standards. Then we move on to section 3.3, data transfer in the network. Section 3.1, Rules of Communications. Once, upon completion of this section, you should be able to describe the type of rules that are necessary to su successfully communicate. Communication fundamentals. Like in, in a human communication or computer communication, we do have a message source. There's always going to be a source and there's always going to be a destination. That's why we're going to send the message. That's why we want to communicate. And then we're going to need some kind of a signal to uh, send that message. And then we use a transmission medium. For example, if for a human, what that would be the air we use to speak. While well, the computers, they can use the air as well, which is wireless, or they can use copper, or they can use fiber, which is optical. Rules of establishment. So always, we're gonna have to identify a sender and receiver. So in each message, we're gonna have a sender of the message and receiver of the message. Common language and grammar. So what what protocols we're going to use to deliver that message? Speed speed and timing of delivery. And once we receive that message, we want to some kind of confirmation or acknowledgement requirements. So for example, here we have a. There are many protocols that must interact. Common computer protocols include message encoding. This is the process of converting information into another acceptable form for transmission. Then we have a message formatting and encapsulation. Here we identify the recipient and the sender. For example, if we put the IP address, IPv4 or IPv6 of the sender, and IPv4 or IPv6 of the receiver. Then we have a message size, size restriction of, frame requ of frames. They do require the source host to break the long message into individual pieces, which we call them segments. So for example, if you have a, uh, the big message to send it from the sender to the receiver, now this message cannot go as it is. So we have to break it into small pieces. While we are breaking it into small pieces, which is layer four will do that, the transfer layer, they're called the segment. Then we have a timing, message timing. Access method, how are we gonna access the, the network? For example, are we using a carry sense multiple access collision domain, collision detection or collision avoidance? So we find out the access method. And then we look at the flow control. If there's a, if for example, say that we start with sending the 50 messages and we don't have any errors on our transmission, so then we can increase that. Or if we find there's too many errors, then we can decrease the number of, of segments that we are sending. And response timeout means that okay, if I send you, if we agree, for example, say that I'm sending you 30 messages and we agree that after 30 messages, you need to acknowledge. So it's, it, there's no point of me sending you one message and you acknowledging. I send you one and you say, yeah, I got that. I send you another one and you say, yeah, I got that. That creates too much bandwidth, too much. We use too much bandwidth for that. So we, before the source and destination, they will agree on how many messages they need to send to each other before there's going to be acknowledgement. So for example, let's say that we agree on 30 messages or 30 segments. So I'll, I'm just going to send 30 seconds, 30 segments, and I'm not going to expect acknowledgement from you. So after 30 segments I send to you, then I'll stop and I'll wait for acknowledgement. If I get an acknowledgement, we should be like, okay, 31, that's your acknowledgement. They're saying, okay, fine, you got the 30 segments, I'll send another 30. But if I don't get acknowledgement from you, like you've got them, then I will say, okay, well, this is response timeout. So I didn't get the acknowledgement, so I'm going to send you those 30 segments again. Message delivery options. We have, a, for example, we can deliver unicast, which is one-to-one -one communication, source and one source and one destination. We have a multicast, which is one source and many destinations. So one-to-many or broadcast, we have a source to all.